Thanks for joining us at the DCPN this morning, where our slogan is, we are almost never right. I'm here with Nicole and Annie, and we are driving head first into our biggest prediction of the day. John Peanut has promised that Donald Trump will be visiting Montgomery's Finest Redbones Bar and Grill for Taco Tuesday. This will be a special meeting between Albert Kavanaugh and President Trump. Avatar is extremely excited to get some beauty tips, focus on, on the perfect spray tan and hair. I, for one, want to know the same things. Mr. Trump always looks so flawless. His looks have stolen the hearts of America. I have been trying to make myself look like him for years. We have all been waiting for these answers. This will be quite the experience for Montgomery's hometown Harry's. I think we have just received something from our headquarters. Breaking news, we have predicted that Jeff Jones will murder Mary Lang's whole family in cold blood. The Lang gang will be devastated in these happenings. Jeff Jones, beta, be happy with his doings. Get it, beta, because Mary always goes to beta conventions. No, okay. You know what? The Lang gang better listen to these predictions because they seem very serious. Who knows what kind of damage Jeff Jones could do? You're right about that one, Annie. Jeff Jones has been a family friend of mine for years. I'm absolutely shocked. We are all shocked, Anna. This is going to, to leave a mark on our community. However, as our slogan says, we are almost never right. If that news isn't devastating enough for you, there's still more. Anna, what can you tell us about the new store we're brewing? Sorry about that delay. Well, thanks Nicole for the introduction. I'm here to bring you guys tonight's weather. As you can see, a storm is a brewing out here. Five inches of snow is expected in the next hour. I tell you guys, you better buckle up because it's gonna be a ride. Along with the snow, we got a hurricane badger a brewing. Down here in the West Boggs Lake, as you can see back here, it's not gonna be pretty folks. It's gonna be the very first hurricane to have snow. Man, you better get in your houses and you better buy lots of milk and bread and cereal. Again, this storm is going down in history as Hurricane Badger. Thanks for tuning in, DCPN. Back to you, Nicole. Oh my, by the sounds of it, we are sure going to have our hands full with that weather fo forecast. I know, Nicole, and I don't live too far from Boggs Lake, so I may, I may need to pack up and leave before it hits. The St. Mary's crew is going to have their hands full with this one. You'll be fine. Again, as our slogan says, we're almost never right. How about you take us on to sports, Annie? Of course. Many of us are looking forward to the Boys High School Basketball State Tournament, and this year is not going to disappoint. Next week is the start of some long tournament seasons for many different schools in Indiana. Which teams are expected to make a run this year, Annie? In 2A, I was sure that North Davies was going to make it to the final round. The real Jack Weininger seems unstoppable but they seem to be falling apart. However, I think they will still come home with blue medals around their necks. The coaching there is unbelievably talented and they have always had great success. For 1A, however, I have no doubts about who is going to win it. This year, it is going to be Washington Catholic. Wait a second, Washington Catholic? Yes, exactly. They have the best season record in the county with one win and 22 losses. I mean, wow, what a year for them. No one stands a chance against a team like that. I cannot wait to see them at Banker's Life Fieldhouse this March. Wow, go Cardinals! I've been one of their biggest fans. I love seeing local schools do so well in athletics. But Annie, how has Barry been doing this season? They're usually one of the strongest teams in the area. Barry has been struggling very much this year. It is obvious that they are still mourning the loss of the greatest Barry basketball manager of all, all time, our very own Nicole McMullen. It was one of the biggest regrets in my life. Being a manager for those boys and Brian was my life for a whole year. However, one must move on and do greater things. Well said, Nicole. I think we can all agree that it is important to follow your dreams, even if it doesn't hurt the, hurt the entire community and basketball program. As for Bar Reeve, they will get over it only by the strengths shown by Albert Cavanaugh. He is the leader of that community and is the only one that can pull them together. That's a good point, Annie, but no one has mentioned the fact that the famous Dave Graber could have played a part in these doings. There have been 15 reported sprained ankles on the team, but Dave is so focused on working out that he claims he doesn't have time to tape their ankles. Wow.
This is absolutely embarrassing, not only for myself, but for my family. No wonder the team has done so poor this year. That is the perfect recipe for disaster. But anyways, we will keep you updated on the Boys Basketball State Tournament, and we'll be supporting all of our local teams. Well, that's all from the DCPN today. See you tomorrow for more unfactual information. Goodbye, friends. See you again.